All right, despite all the work yesterday, be with the stripes because they're not even um, spaced, and I'm going to redo those today. And it's not a big deal. I mean, I'll just remake the flag, which is pretty much going to kill the whole day. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, I, I, I like the way it looks. I was worried about how this was going to look uh, just hanging off there like this. But it actually looks pretty darn good. And uh, it looks dynamite from all the way around. See, when I, let me explain. The flag has to be detachable for shipping because you can't ship that without having it bent in shipping. And so you have to be able to ship this in a set, you know, separate wrapping and uh, so that it doesn't get bent and then they can just put it into the hand of the person or the warrior in this case. And it'll always end up in the same place. It'll hang the way I want it to. Uh, the gravity will actually position the flag in a perfect position. But uh, that was something I was worried about. I liked how the uh, material that I used for the armature of the clay works. I'm just worried about the thinness of it and whether it can be cast. And that's all kind of things I have to get, you know, get the information from the foundry. I think it, it, it I think it can be done. But anyway, I'm going to redo the the, the uh, flag today, and so let's get started. Time to play with some clay. Another problem with this uh, flag was also the uh, length of the uh, posts or the pole. It, it ended right at the top of the flag, and I got to have enough of a pole up above it to do a uh, a ball or a spear point on the uh, the flagpole. So I, that was another reason why I wanted, I wanted to just try it again. I I mean I. I worked everything out yesterday on this one. And so now the next one will even be better. <laughs> anyway, I've got another fondue stick for the uh, pole. That's not actually, no, that's not it. Where's my fondue stick? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to cut it off right there, and that will give me a little longer length, but it also will give me um, enough at the end of it to do that thing on the top of the pole. Perfect. Took me a few minutes to find my exacto knife blades. I need to change out the one I've got. I've got to split this uh, fondue stick. Now, if I can find the exacto knife, I'd be really happy. Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's a lid. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> you haven't changed out the uh, blade on this exacto knife. <laughs> For at least five years, <laughs> at least. 
I keep losing this uh, container with all the exacto knife blades in it. Wonder what I got in this one. Oh, more exacto knife blades. These are used exacto knife blades. They don't throw them away at the foundry. They they save them because. If they ever have a shortage, they got a fairly good exacto knife blade left over. But anyway, I'm uh, I'm trying to find a better fondue stick. This one that I picked out was just a little curvy, as you can see, and so I'm going to put that aside and uh, that one's curvy too. This one's straight. All right. All right, I got to split this uh, fondue stick. And I'm going to do it now instead of waiting till later. I've got to split it right down the center. Now, I need to get that split to go all the way down, so I'm going to gently Okay, I've figured out a way of transferring these stripes to the clay. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting away the white. I'm doing it carefully. Not letting the point of my knife blade wander. Now, I don't know if this will work. If it doesn't, I'll just print out another picture. And what I'll do is I'll put it on top of the clay, and then I can just easily plot out the uh, stripes. Well, that's the plan anyway. Whether it actually works, I have no clue. I'm not a machine. And I hate doing things that are done with machines. But sometimes you just got to do it. The key to this whole thing is not to slice off part of your finger. You know, the last one would be a difficult one. All right, I've got one side done. 
And I'm just evening out the clay. I made the clay thicker this time. I didn't go as thin as I did yesterday. And that will probably make the stars come out better and uh, everything else, hopefully, better. Now, I'm not going to attempt to put a design into it yet. Not until I get the other side done yet. I'm using the uh, unserrated side of my wire tool. Because I don't want a bunch of marks in this uh, clay. Alright, I got the other side completely covered in clay. This clay is about an eighth of an inch thick, which I think is going to be very heavy as a flag, but I, I really think I need to have that thickness so they can cast it. I think the other one was just a little too thin for casting. Okay, I'm trying to line this up as best I can and I put parchment paper down to keep the uh, clay from sticking to the cutting board It matches perfectly. I can't get better than that. Okay. I'm going to use this tool here. I tried to show this yesterday, and I didn't do a very good job of it. But you can see it's got teeth on the bottom here. And that uh, will give me a, the ability to do a texture that will show up as darker in the patina. Now let's take a look and see if that works out. Yeah, it's not bad.
Okay, I'm going to take this orange glow wood furniture polish. And I'm just going to put, spray a little bit of it into this bowl. And I'm going to put it on these stars. So that the clay will give, will release from the uh, metal stars without uh, pulling clay away from it. background get that out of the way and I use the flat end of my exacto knife to press stars into the uh, clay That's the best I came up. That's the best I've come up with yet. Dynamite. That's better than yesterday's. It's because I made the clay thicker, and uh, because of that, it's uh, able to hold its shape better. All right, now set those stars aside and do this other side. This morning when I got the email from my client and he told me that the stripes weren't even and that it needed to be even, I got kind of a sick feeling in my stomach because I knew he was right, but I didn't know how I was going to correct it. But I just relaxed. And figured I'd figure it out and prayed about it. And it was made clear to me exactly what to do. I was so stressed about doing these stars and I had no idea how I was going to do them. And then one day it occurred to me I could get metal stars and maybe make that work. But even when after I had the metal stars, I didn't know what the heck I was going to do. I was going to, I pasted or glued one star to the end of a fondue stick, and I thought I could press them in one at a time. But that seemed impractical. And then it occurred to me one morning while I was laying in bed, I could glue it onto a piece of paper, all of them, and put it right on top of each star, if I could find the right size star, that is. And, uh, have that work out. Oh, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right, I'm going to let this sit overnight. Actually, over the weekend, I'm going to take the weekend off. And I'm going to come back and, uh, actually, I think I'll go ahead and glue this onto the stick. Now comes the hard part. Putting Gorilla Glue on this and getting it between that stick, the two halves, and having it not get it on there wrong. Don't want to put too much Gorilla Glue. 
just enough to glue it together. This was another little bit of inspiration that came up to me yesterday when I did the other flag. The one thing I didn't do is put on my glove, which I am this time. So I don't glue my fingers. Whoop. Upside down. shifted push it back on get the other clamp there we go we'll just let that sit over the weekend and I'll come back and Take care of this next week. All right, everybody. That's going to be it for tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> and I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, even though it was a kind of a repeat of yesterday's. I'm happy the way this turned out. Good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.